Reuters is taking some heat tonight for sitting on a story during the 2018 Senate campaign between Ted Cruz and Beto O'Rourke. On Friday, the outlet publishing previously discovered information that Beto O'Rourke was a former member of the hacking group known as Cult of the Dead Cow, which I'm sure you're all very familiar with. But his campaign was not affected by this, folks. A record $6.1 million raised during the first 24 hours of the launch, putting Beto ahead of all the other Democratic candidates on day one. Kristen Fisher, live in Washington tonight with more. Hi, Kristen. Hey, Martha. Well, this was quite a scoop by Reuters, a prominent presidential candidate's involvement in America's oldest hacking group. Problem is that the reporter that wrote it had known about it for over a year. Joseph Men says he sat on it because he'd struck a deal with members of that hacking group that you were talking about, Cult of the Dead Cow, which he was writing a book about. They'd confirm O'Rourke's involvement in the group, but only if men agreed to hold the peace. Reuters is now defending the deal as a common arrangement between journalists and sources, and apparently the candidate himself. Quote, in an interview in late 2017, O'Rourke acknowledged that he was a member of the group on the understanding that the information would not be made public until after his Senate race against Ted Cruz in November 2018. Well, Cruz responded by saying, so Reuters had evidence in 2017 that Beto may have committed multiple felonies, which Beto confirmed on the record, but deliberately withheld the story for over a year to help him win his Senate race. But when he's running against Bernie, et cetera, now it's news? Well, the group O'Rourke was a member of uh, was responsible for things like hacking into computers and stealing credit card numbers, though the Reuters report says that O'Rourke never engaged in the, quote, edgiest sort of hacking activity. But he did contribute to the group's electronic magazine under the handle Psychedelic Warlord, including a fictional story that he wrote when he was 15 that involved running over children with a car. And here's a clip uh, or a, a excerpt of it. He wrote, as I neared the young ones, I put all my weight on my right foot, keeping the accelerator pedal on the floor until I heard the crashing of the two children on the hood and then the sharp cry of pain from one of the two. I was so fascinated for a moment that when after I had stopped my vehicle, I just sat in a daze, sweet visions filling my head. Well, after the story resurfaced, O'Rourke said, I'm mortified to read it now, incredibly embarrassed, but I have to take ownership of my words. Whatever my intention was as a teenager doesn't matter. I have to look long and hard at my actions, at the language I have used, and I have to constantly try to do better. So O'Rourke is acknowledging that it is really hateful stuff what he was writing. Those are his words. But he's asking everybody to remember that he was only 15 years old at the time that he wrote it, Martha. That is an important fact. Uh, Kristen, thank you very much.